Hello YouTube, it's me again, your boy, Simo. I'm going to be unboxing some more fake Apple AirPods. Stick around, you might just want to see this. Greetings my fellow friends of YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Legit or Shit. This is where I review things to see whether or not they are good or bad. I bought a pair of AirPods, or rather AirPod Pros, uh, a few months ago, and they arrived about a month ago, and I tried to make a video, however, I couldn't get the damn things to connect to anything. And then they just suddenly stopped working. Literally just cannot charge them. The actual AirPods, AirPods, things that go in your ears have gone flat, and the charging case is dead it won't charge. No matter what I do, plug it into a lightning cable, stick it on a wireless charging mat, it's just dead. Completely. So, yeah. Needless to say, those went in the crap pile. What I did is I had a bit of a trawl and found some slightly more expensive version, or rather fake version of the AirPod Pros, and bought them. And they arrived. Here they are in all their glory and you may notice something special about them mm-hmm yeah they are black however 10 out of 10 for the Photoshop work here because these are blatantly white ones that have just been inverted great job there China you know the drill I'm gonna open these up we're gonna have a look at them together and I'm gonna give you my honest Simo opinion about said item so first of all let's have a look at where I found it brilliant well just like most things on the internet you buy them and then all of a sudden they completely disappear and you can't find them so here are the same airpods but a different listing so about the same price it's exactly what i paid for them so and it looks very close to the listing that i found before so these bad boys are on aliexpress uh they are 27 dollars and 37 pence so about 24 quid give or take Although, with the way the currency is at the moment, who knows? Probably about £400. So, available in black and white, and they are the Air 3 Pro TWS, which stands for Total Wireless System or something. I actually just thought it was a brand, but no. Turns out that if it's TWS, they're just Bluetooth headsets. There you go. Bit of a lesson for you. But these are Bluetooth earphones, wireless headphones, earbuds with smart... Samarit? Senso, blah, 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 i9000 Pro, i220000, whatever. But yes, these are the AirPods, and yeah, they're basically, you know, they say that they sync with Android and iOS, and they have wireless charging, and they have a case, and the case is charging, and blah, 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 blah. Now, one of the big things that I did see about these was apparently they are supposed to be very good, and the base is supposed to be very good but yeah again just you know we've got to test these things there's no point in saying that they're great anyone can say anything is great but it doesn't necessarily mean it is because let's be honest it's the internet and nothing on the internet is real right so without further ado let's get these puppies open we've got the box Okay, we're now going to open the box and see what's inside because I know that's what you guys are here for. Here we have a nice attractive box. It's all in black. It's, you know, it looks nice, but whether or not the item inside's nice is another story entirely. So we have, ooh, a nice bit of cardboard. So inside the nice bit of cardboard, we have, of course, rip-off instructions that are in Chinese. So... Uh, they look like the Apple ones, but I could read the Apple ones. Can't read these because they're all in Chinese. Ha! <laughs> that rhymed. No good. But, you know, the quality is there. So let's, first of all, come on. We know what's in here. We don't need to get anyway. Um, but we've got a rip-off lightning cable, as you do. And it's a USB Type C to Lightning. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. And then, of course, we have some of these uh, replacement earbuds. Oops, one's fallen out. Brilliant. Um, but I would imagine if I can get into this box. Um, ah, there 
there you go. So we've got lots of different tips and stuff. So, although they all look the same size. Oh dear, my buds are falling out everywhere. Um, interesting, yeah, okay, well, anyway. We've had a look at the box, let's have a look at the goodies. So, inside this unsealed bag, which is always ominous, we have, da 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 da. Oh, look at that. They're quite nice. So here we have the AirPods themselves. So in a nice little black case. Uh, and, um, you know, let's let's lift up the... Um, do we have a light? Do we have a light? Oh, we do have a light. We have an orange light, which is always a good start. So here we can see the AirPods. And they, they, they look like AirPod Pros, except they're black. Um, you know, 10 out of 10 for observations there for me. So let's get one of them out and have a look at it. Now, I must stress, I don't actually own a pair of AirPod Pros. As much as I want a pair, I can't bring myself to spend 250 pounds on something this size. It, it just to me, it's just, yeah. So let's have a look at the AirPods. Uh, as you can see, they are very AirPod-like. They look like AirPods and um, yeah, not much more can be said really about that. So we've got one AirPod and then we've got another AirPod and then we've got a case. I'm just gonna go and quickly test to see whether or not the case does do some wireless charging. So bear with. Ah, well, you're gonna have to take my word for it. They wireless charge. You get a orange light that turns to a green light when it's charging, so, so far, so good. In terms of the actual case itself, so a couple of things that I've noticed. So first of all, it's flimsy as hell. So it's, the quality isn't there. I mean, the latch is all right, but if you have a look, the latch is actually made out of plastic. So in all honesty, a few weird knocks that's gonna break. Um, and it also doesn't have the nice shine to it that the proper Apple ones do. Not that I've seen a pair of real AirPod Pros, but I know they're metal because it's Apple and Apple like aluminium, clearly. Okay, so we've had a look. Let's do some testing now and see what it's like. First things first, let's see if I can get these to pair. So there you go. Not that you can see an awful lot there, apologies. Um, so I'm, first of all, I am going to do this. And nothing. Oh, is it because they've got to be in the case? Okay, so it's come up with a little message, not your AirPod Pros. So I'm gonna connect, press and hold the button on the back of the charge case which I am doing, connecting, connecting, connecting. Connected, hey. Okay, so they're now paired to this. So now we can do some testing. So we've got a little dialog box and it's actually coming up with the whole, you know, whether or not it's got a charge and one thing and another. So that's always good. I'm gonna pop them in. So we've got the dialog box there that's showing us how much power it's got. So 26% charge in the actual box itself. Um, box in the actual charging case rather uh, and 100% each on the ear pods as well or bear pods whatever you want to call them I always get them confused anyway let's pop them in the ears um, first things first let's go into the settings so if we go into the settings and then we go to Bluetooth uh, and then we go to AirPod Pros Go to the information button. So we've got all the, the stuff on here, the noise cancelling and the transparency. Now, that doesn't work. For £24, you're not going to get any of that, which is one of the reasons why the Apple ones are so godly expensive because apparently the transparency mode is fantastic but yeah that not on these we've got the different ones here as well so we've got left and right and we've got different things again none of this works it's just because the microchip inside these airpods are actually fooling the ios devices that they're pros and, and nothing else so yeah um and then we've got all the fit to ear test blah 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 um and then we've got oh name can we can we change oh okay so we can change this is, is that is that gonna work now hey and you can't even see it so um, there you go hey 
So you can actually change the name of the AirPods, which is good because um, I've yet to actually buy a pair of fake AirPods that allow you to rename the, the actual AirPods. So already winning, enough of this nonsense. Let's actually go on and test it. So I am going to listen to some music. I am not gonna show you on the iPad because I'll get demonetized. Not that I'm earning any money from YouTube anyway at the moment. Thanks, YouTube. So let's get something on. So first of all, let's get something bassy on. So I will first of all put this on. Okay, they're bleeping. Hmm. Okay, that did nothing. Okay. So squeezing gently once pauses it and plays it. And squeezing it twice gently skips the track forwards on the right ear. So on the left ear, left ear pauses it and resumes it. Okay, they both do the same. Okay, honest opinion time. In terms of AirPods that I have listened to before in the past, how do they rank out of all the other ones that I've reviewed on this channel? Out of all the fake ones, these are by far the best. There's no disputing that. The bass is good. All of the other ones that I've tried, the bass is, well, it's what bass? There is no bass. There's that. <laughs> Where they struggle is the top end. I'm just trying to explain it. The problem is, again, and I've said this before on my other videos, that I've actually, I've got a pair of real first generation AirPods. I already know what kind of quality you get with an Apple product. It's it's good, you know, it, it, it's better than good. It's fantastic. Do, they, do these come anywhere near that? No, they don't. They really don't. In fact, there is quite a big difference between official AirPods and these. And again, I've yet to actually test a real pair of AirPod Pros. So my knowledge of what they sound like, I'm only going by what I've seen in other reviews. And that is that they are slightly better than the AirPods and they, they fit better. And obviously you've got the noise cancellation and all that other stuff. And that's the reason why you pay the premium price. That's the reason why you pay 250 pounds is because you get a really good product. These were 23, 24 pounds from China. For 23, 24 pounds, these are an absolute bargain. Honestly, you cannot buy any headphones that are wireless with, you know, it's just it's convenience as well. Being able to stick them in here, stick them in your pocket and just like a real pair of, of AirPods, you know, that's one of the reasons why you pay that premium price is the convenience. And these are as convenient. Yeah, they don't sound as good and they haven't got all the fancy noise cancellation and all the rest of it. But, you know, they they are pretty good for 23 in fact they're incredible for 23 pounds and if you don't own a pair of proper airpods and you can afford the 250 pounds or even the 140 pounds for the second gen airpods then buy these honestly they are really really good again there are a few little gripes um they are super sensitive. They, if you tap on your ears, it doesn't do it like it does with the original AirPods. Um, you have to squeeze them. Now on the actual proper Pros, it's got a, a it's like a capacitive button. It's, you squeeze it and it does stuff. Now I was literally resting my finger on that and it was setting it off. So again, you have to be quite careful how you're touching because if you, even if you've got a slight itch and, and you, you tap and you brush it, it's going to change or pause your music. All the other stuff, the Siri and all the rest of it, all that works. I've tested all that, that works fine. I'm not gonna bore you with it. But yeah, would I buy them? If I didn't have a pair of AirPods, um, then yeah, I'd buy them, why not? Is it legit or shit? Well, I'm gonna say it's totally legit. If you are on the lookout for a pair of AirPod Pros um, that, you know, aren't gonna break the bank and are not bad quality wise, said, you know, I think compared to a lot of cheaper headphones, 
these would be as good if not slightly better but in terms of apple stuff yeah they they, they don't really come close but yeah there you go so these are the tws i90 thousand something or other i'll put it i'll put a description in the video down below because i these things have got so many names i'm just completely lost with everything so there you go thank you very much for watching this video if you do like this video or you did like this video rather and you want to see more of my videos then please have a look at my other videos that i've got on my channel a lot of you uh you know being kind and commenting on what you, you're liking and what you're not liking which is always helpful because i don't know let's be honest if you do like this make sure you hit that like button and if you do want to see more then make sure you hit that subscribe button and obviously don't forget to hit the little bell icon because then you'll be notified whenever I upload some new content. Also on the screen right now is a list of my social media links. Now I'm not all that active at the moment on any of them because nobody's actually on there so if you want to pester me then why not stalk me on social media. I'm even on TikTok so yeah Simo official there. So thank you very much for joining me again and uh, until next time guys, stay safe and take it easy.